At what point in the design do you begin to create a 3D CAD model? Autodesk Fusion 360 blurs the line between concept models and fully defined parametric modeling by providing a robust set of features that allow you to explore a concept, add design parameters, introduce associative bodies, edit those bodies with unparalleled ease, and only when ready, begin to create components for manufacturing. Let's start with sketching out the initial layout of a design. In early phases of product development, oftentimes the shape hasn't yet been fully defined, but many CAD modeling applications force the end user to define a shape, input a parameter, or create a part that may have a dependency that through parametric modeling alone is difficult to manage. In this example, the geometry of the shape is fairly well defined, but not the individual components just yet. This unstructured modeling technique more closely matches the design process and allows the designer to spend more time exploring ideas and less time worrying about file management. As you can see, Fusion 360 has all of the modeling features you would expect. And more that you wouldn't, here's a seemingly simple example. Modeled threads, a commonly requested user feature that, well, we listen to anyway. Here's another nice example of simplifying the design process, creating a loft and shelling it. Again, a nice place for multi-body because you can just shell the loft feature, which is what you would want in this particular case. It makes for less features that need to be created, and we want the opening on the top of the piece, not the bottom. This next feature is fantastic. It's called Boundary Fill, which gives you the ability to intersect, cut, and combine. This is a great use case for the multi-body Boolean method here. Getting the two intersecting pipe sections is kind of a challenge with traditional modeling tools, and this is a significantly more flexible approach. In contrast to most modeling techniques, we're gonna do what's normally the first thing last, make the parts. A few right clicks and now the bodies are components and as a result, you have an assembly. Autodesk Fusion 360 is very flexible with a single modeling environment for parts and assemblies so that you don't have to plan in advance and solve the entire design before it's fully defined. Let's go visit autodesk.com forward slash Fusion 360 and get started today.